All right, so today we're going to be talking about the Xbox Showcase event that's coming up on June 12th. Uh, there's also been an announcement of an extended showcase on the 14th for more announcements and trailers. And I have two friends here with me. I have Super Sand Legend. Hello. And I have his good friend, Hanky. Hi. And uh, we're just going to talk about a few things we think might be announced in like a top three type format. And uh, then we'll just discuss in general uh, what we think. So um, I'll let you guys go first if you want to do your top or your top three pick. So uh, I'm Super Saiyan Legend or Aaron, friends of Justin for a while, and I'm content creator for Twitch and YouTube and things like that. Um, unfortunately, there's been a little bit of a leak that could be happening this week. So my top. So that'll be my top thing. But number three, I've been pretty excited for Starfield for a couple of years, uh, just because A, it's a Bethesda game, and minus Fallout 76 is launched. They're pretty solid for the most part. Um, so I'm excited to see more of that. Hopefully we get some gameplay. I know it got pushed back recently, so I kind of, it was a bummer, but still it'll be cool to play, and I'm sure we'll get to play it for free. I think it is already announced as a game pass it's not exclusive but like it'll be on game pass day one is that right justin uh yeah for what i understand it's since it's known by xbox it is yeah be so that's on game pass. exciting i love saving money you know we were all broke in today's world all right thank you if you wanted to give us your top three or your number three my number three uh it's gonna be a lot of microsoft shit and i mean a lot of microsoft shit they're gonna milk this cow to the brim that's my definite prediction. And what do you mean by Microsoft shit exactly? <laughs> Microsoft services, Xbox controllers, and consoles, like general Microsoft products. That's okay. what they're going to push the most. Yeah, I was actually thinking that myself as far as like, they're probably going to announce like a new Elite, I think. Because uh, if you notice, the Elite 2 has been on sale like forever. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think they're trying to clear out stock so they have that new one coming out um and i was also thinking they might do like an xbox cloud console like a streaming yeah streaming there's console. been a lot of talk about that before and uh more recently they had an interesting i can find it they had an interesting statement on the quote-unquote xbox streaming stick like a fire stick apple tv kind of thing to play on your tv that yeah more or less they're pushing it back or they're doing the re redoing it or so something along those lines i can find it while we move forward yeah, yeah. i would think they probably would announce that for sure i think it's about time I'm, I'm guessing they're gonna take advantage of the full release of uh chromecast 4. um yeah they stated they, this was they, about two weeks ago as part of any technical journey we are constantly evaluating our efforts reviewing our learnings and ensuring we are bringing value to our customers we have made the decision to pivot away from the current iteration of the Keystone device, which is the streaming stick, that's their code name. We will take our learnings and refocus our efforts on a new approach that will allow us to deliver Xbox Cloud Gaming to more players around the world in the future. So, it's yeah. based on the back burner. Yeah, so they might not show like any actual like interface or anything, but I think they at least have some kind of teaser trailer, I would think. I agree. Probably going to give strong indication that it's not really dead in the water. Yeah, yeah, something at least say mm -hmm. that it's coming, it's up, up, up and coming. They're, they are all um, about cloud, I mean, and it runs well. Oh, yeah. I feel some input lag for me when I play multiplayer games on PC. Yeah, uh, but other it's, than that, it's, like, not for, it's not for comp, definitely. Yeah, but yeah. single player games, MLB The Show even, I mean, it runs great. Yeah, I think the main reason for like the, uh, the real delay with the multiplayer is like there's delay of input putting in, and then there's also the delay of the information go into the game server so it's like a double delay so it feels really laggy so. but it looks good it runs all they all yeah. they run all of, of the uh series x the newest one the their that hardware from what i understand so all right sounds good all right i'll go ahead and give my top three uh or my number three um it's a game and i think it's about time for another game from this studio so i have for my number three injustice three from nether realm uh, I think they're going to announce that this year. It's been a few years since Mortal Kombat 11 came out. Usually about every two years or three years or so. They do announce a new fighting game. And they've been on a alternating cadence with Mortal Kombat and Injustice. So I think it's about time for an Injustice 3 announcement. Injustice? 
Yep, and Justice. It's the DC superhero yeah. fighting game. That's dope. Not as violent yeah, so would... as uh, Mortal Kombat, but it's a staple of me and uh, Justin over the last 10 years or so. Uh, yeah, we have a little rivalry going between Flash and Arrow. <laughs> and Alcoman with his Triton spam. <laughs> yes. Uh, it's good, it's good but, choice. Uh, I mean, I, I'm here for it. Um, fighting, there hasn't been anything major fighting game wise in the last year that I can think of off the top of my head, so that'd be something. Cool yeah, to see. um, I am injustice or not injustice. and in excited <laughs> for uh, multiverses as well. That's pretty. Cool. Yeah, I don't. But that, I don't think it's gonna be shown this weekend. But I mean, that is a cool game. I think that come. That's a closed beta. Comes out what next month? E, uh, it's actually open beta. Oh. Uh, in July. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah. I mean, we will see. You never know. They buy everything they can. Uh yeah. I think it'd be a good. Uh, probably be a lot better than Nicktoons Fighter that came out. Yeah, we need more fighting games. Yeah, it's we been need more a lull of that. All right, so Super Saiyan Legend, if you'd like to give us your number two slot. I really want to say that, you know, we'll get a Skyrim Ultim Ultimate Mega 4K 144 frames edition, but we already <laughs> know that's coming. That's pretty fun. Um, it's coming to the fridge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think I would be very... There's two things. I'm torn between two. I think my definite answer is going to be I really hope for some Elder Scrolls 6. It's been 11 years. I mean, come on. What were you guys doing 11 years ago? You got to sit and think about that for a minute. 11 years since we had El <laughs> Skyrim. And 16... They've been riding that Skyrim horse all the way to the <laughs> end of time. <laughs> if it ain't broke, don't think. There's, there's still things people are uncovering today, which is crazy. But I think a new game would be fun. I don't. I mean... The expectation would be through the roof because again you have 11 years to make it um yeah. but that's what i want i want i want something more than a teaser i want maybe the opening cinematic i want the world um because the only thing i'm excited for and this is pivoting a little bit there's a group of modders that have been working on what's called sky oblivion for almost the same time frame they're taking elder scrolls 4 oblivion all the content even some of morrowind from elder scrolls 3 and putting it in skyrim with skyrim's engine but it's only a team of like five people and they're just, you know, it's a slow burn and, you know, I'll probably be dead before it comes out. But, oh my God. <laughs> you know, but um, I was torn between that and I was torn between if any Activision news would come out. I doubt it because I know the sale didn't go through yet. So they're not going to talk about it, of course, because why would they? They don't officially own it. But, yeah, you know, the, the grapevine was this is this year's Call of Duty, which is Modern Warfare 2, uh, which I mean, is cool. I mean, I'm, I know. I'll check it out. I mean, I'll play the beta. I'm sure there'll be one. But um, the, the word down the grapevine was that this would be the last yearly Call of Duty once Xbox takes over. So I was, you know, I would hope maybe some kind of news on that front because that would make me excited for 2024 as Call of Duty. I would buy it on principle that Microsoft has it and they're, it's not a, you know, they got two years to make it, you know, even though technically it is two years to make it because it's different studios every year, but still. Yeah. I think I'm more. I think they'd, Go ahead, sorry. I'm sorry, go ahead. No, you go ahead. <laughs> uh, I was going to say, I think it'd really benefit if they just took a, a year off or so and just let all the studios that they have working on yeah, all the different yeah, titles yeah, yeah, yeah. work on one title and make a really good one. I think I was building to that. I just couldn't get the words. But no, my, no, no my choice for number two would definitely be Elder Scrolls Six because I just want something to tell everybody that I'm... Bye. Talk to you in three years. I'm just going to yeah. play this, you know. I'll, you know, Somebody make sure I eat and drink water every now and then. But other than that, bye. <laughs> yeah, that probably show another trailer i don't know if they have any gameplay yet because yep. i don't know how long they've been developing it but that's my number two all right awesome uh hanky what's your number two doom doom oh what plain, tell plain me more. and simple plain and simple uh there's been no talks of it so i think they're keeping a good lid on the doom game they're developing because they're bound to make one the last two worse tremendously successful and mm -hmm. uh, like not taking advantage of that is stupid in every way yeah. and the games are just phenomenal so, it has been what two years since Eternal came out yeah yeah I think a and, teaser would be good for the third one 
it's such an easy game to like. They just need to make new levels, more characters, and different weapons. That's it. Copy paste. Ship it. Yeah. That was kind of sad. One of the things they did announce uh, with Eternal that was supposed to come out was like you can evade other players' games as demons. Um, but they ended up scrapping that feature. So maybe they can bring that in for the third one. Oh, uh, yeah. I think they definitely don't want to do multiplayer on that, uh, that game. Especially after the fiasco of Fallout 76. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> they, they, they have no clue how to build multiplayer. That's just the way they're, they, uh, they are. Uh, that's, maybe, that's maybe, true. maybe they uh, actually ship a new engine. Hopefully. I will point Aren't out. Aren't they running on Unreal right now? Yes. Yeah, so maybe they'd be Unreal 5. Mm -hmm. Hopefully. Because be awesome. the last engine they were using for like everything was uh, terrible. They had the same bugs and shit that they didn't patch 15 years ago. Uh huh. Because that, that, that's how old the engine is. It's literally wow. how old, like, like as old as Oblivion or Morrowind was. I think Call of Duty and uh, Fallout did the same thing with these, the same engine forever. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, Call of Duty made a new one. They uh, built a new engine from scratch uh, for Modern Warfare. And it's, uh, yeah. it's perfect. It's almost perfect. Cool, cool. Sounds like a good pick to me. I think, um, I think saying Doom alone just made Justin very excited. That's, oh, that, yeah. that's Doom, one of his like, uh, top three, five all time. You have no idea. I, I love Doom so much. I've played the crap out of like the original like two, three on the like Windows ninety eight. <laughs> Windows XP. But uh but yeah, that's I'm really excited for any Doom content that might come out. Alright, I'll go ahead and give my number two. I hope I'm not stealing anything from Super Saiyan Legend on this one, um, but I am going to say GoldenEye 007 Remaster, or Remake. Um, if you want to speak on this one, uh, yeah, that's that's my number. That's my number one, and that's only because it leaked out. There's achievements, and the people that quote unquote leak it out um, are pretty solid. I mean, it's possible it might be something down the road, or it might be a teaser, mm -hmm. but you know, that was my number one. Yeah, yeah, I know it's been like floating around ever since Xbox 360 time. They had a remake lined up and then it didn't release because of licensing from Nintendo, uh, which is understandable. Um, but they did leak, it did leak the, uh, there's like a playable version of it that came out like last year or the year before that leaked out online. Oh yeah, I remember seeing that. Uh, and it looks really good. Like it, if it looked like it's pretty much done. So it wouldn't take long for them to finish it up if they got the rights to release it. Uh, so that would be an awesome release for this year, for sure. Yeah, I, I never got to play GoldenEye with you, of course. I Meanwhile, I played it, like, once, like, somewhere, like, in an arcade or, like, you know, but we never really played it. But, um, yeah, I think if that is real, I mean, that's, you know, a remake's going to have its problems. And then even, like, a lot of people that have never played the original one, because, you know, a lot of people in, like, my community are, you know, on the younger side of the lower 20s, lower 20s, you know, early 20s, things like that. They, You know, everybody's heard of it, but nobody's really played it. And if they ever played it, it's not going to stand well in today's world but i think a remaster yeah could be cool controversial go for it the original golden eye was shit oh, <laughs> it was i mean shit. are you saying for its time or in for, today's world for any time the <laughs> controllers that? were jack shit you had to like <laughs> and mo that's mostly because of the Nintendo 64 controller were absolutely dog shit. The only people who actually like it are just no having the biggest no nostalgia boner. <laughs> I can agree that the controller is not the best. Um, you had to like swap between three grips to to play the game. That that's bad in itself, especially considering like the uh, that the the first uh, PlayStation control controller were like roughly from the same period uh -huh. and that was good that was perfect they haven't changed changed anything in like 25 years so yeah it was shit what if they 
What, uh, what if they came with like a modernized version of the control scheme? Would you enjoy it then? Uh, not if it's it was the same game. No, because I've played it on mouse and keyboard. It's still shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's still shit because you get shot by enemies that aren't rendered, uh, like aren't even rendered in to the frame. Oh uh, yeah, it, I remember it's, that. It's, it's it's just bad. It's it's. It was like baby's first FPS sh shooter. That's 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 it. Yeah, it's definitely going to be more of a nostalgia release than uh, an actual like this is what games should be kind of release. Yeah, um, it'd just be fun to play it again. I think in general. Um, I was not an N sixty four player. My cousin had it, and I played Mario every now and then. We played some games every now and then. But you know, that's the one thing between the difference between me and Justin. Him and I have been friends for uh too long unfortunately hate to say it <laughs> um but he was an nes mario guy and i grew up i grew up a playstation one guy i had a ps1 um and then i transitioned to xbox and i was always xbox um still today i'm an xbox guy i would choose an xbox over a pc probably if i if i had a gun to my head but i do agree with hankies like the controllers even today i hate them i always hated playing on them it's never comfortable I would like to be in the room. If I could go back in time, I would like to be in the room where they were designed. The guy, the the, the guy who designed the controller goes here. I don't know. It, I'm just gonna say Reggie. Because everybody knows who Reggie is, but you know he wasn't there at the time. <laughs> but whoever the guy was at the time, this is the controller. This weirdly shaped hand controller. Like you need monster hands to use. What do you guys think? I need 16 million of them now. Stat. Like what? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I think the control stick was like. The worst control stick I've ever felt in my life. It was like it felt like really stiff and just not accurate as far as like where you're pointing it. But I mean, back in the day, we didn't know any better. We didn't have what we have now. But yeah, I could I could see where that would be a thing. To be fair, Half Life Two was picture perfect. It was like seeing real life back in the day. Oh really? I I, I missed that whole Half Life thing. Like when it came out. Yeah, yeah, I still have never played it. Incredible. You could blow shit up, destroy doors, and all that shit. Like, it, it was like you actually were transported into a different world. But, like, today, it looks like uh, JPEG, basically. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, that was my number one, 007. I think it's cool. I think, you know, just to... I, I don't know what they're going to do. I don't know if they can be multiplayer. I don't know if it's going to be like a remaster of the campaign or whatever. But, you know, it's no matter what you think about it, you know, Hanky, I, I, you know, I agree. It's shit. Um, you know, <laughs> I, I never played it growing up. I played it, but I never played it growing up when it came out. But the staple it has on the world, everybody knows what the golden gun is. Valorant has a golden gun. That's it works the same. You shoot somebody, you kill somebody. You don't have to reload. You just keep going. You should shoot this. You have to reload, but um, I think it's um, it, it's got a staple in the world, you know, whether you love it or hate it. But that is that is that is my number one. I think if anything, uh, the multiplayer would be a good like party game type thing. Um, even if they like maybe just release that like free to play on its own, as like like a party game to play with friends online, that'd be that'd be kind of fun. I think definitely. But like it's it's very limited by two things: player base and the amount of fun you're actually gonna extrude from the game. And if and if it doesn't get announced, I'll be very disappointed. <laughs> I think it's all but confirmed now that the achievements leaked out on the official website. What all right, Hanky, if you get your number one pick, sir. Uh, it's going to be something we touched on earlier, but that's going to be Elder Scrolls. Elder Scrolls, all right. Yeah. It's Anything their. You want to expand their, on that? It's their biggest IP. Uh, it's it, it's too big to fail in every aspect. Like, even if it's shit, it's going to succeed. Yeah. Even the initial sales will definitely be through the roof. Pre orders will be through the roof just because it's Elder Scrolls. Yeah. And uh, I'm hoping for merch, like a uh, premium bundle pack worth with like actual merch. In-game in merch? No. Like, or like no, you no. order and you get like a hoodie. 
Yeah. Like physical content. Yeah. Physical content, yeah. They they probably learned enough from Fallout 76 that they they will if they do, and I hope they do, they release something really premium, something they they can actually sell and make people happy about it. Because I, I don't know if you saw uh, like the Fallout 76 um, videos, like compiling all the sh all the stuff they did they did wrong, but it was a lot, and especially with the, with the, uh, the hype was content. there. The hype was there. I was hyped yeah, definitely, for it. definitely. Never Everybody it. was. I've definitely seen all the compilations of the the glitches and bugs and stuff when it first released. I don't know if she awful. wants to chime in on it, but Caitlin, I believe, <laughs> played it. Yeah, it was fucking awful. <laughs> it was, it's all we needed. <laughs> it was literally unplayable on release. Like, no one... It, it, it wasn't great. I think now it's in a better spot, but... They made the biggest mistake of all. They combined... Uh, the game's performance to the netcode, which means that if you had like tremendous FPS, like three, four hundred, your your netcode would be on steroids, and you could sprint through like the map at like Mach Mach one. <laughs> it was insane. That's craziness. Mm -hmm. But the merch, the merch was the biggest flop they ever did. Like. They had to close down the entire shop and refund everybody. And even the refund failed because they leaked everybody's personal data. Oh, man. Oh, no. Sounds like I dodged a bullet. Yeah. <laughs> dodged every bullet. All right. So I guess I'll go ahead and give my number one. I think uh, Mr. Super Saiyan might already know what this one is. Uh, it's been rumored for a very long time. And it's been a long time since we've gotten any like announcement for anything new from this series. But uh, my number one pick is the Gears Trilogy Collection or Marcus Phoenix Collection. Um, there was some discussion recently, I think it was like a month or two ago, uh, that Xbox is working on some kind of large game collection that's similar to the Halo Master Chief Collection. And I think the only logical choice would be Gears, uh, since it's been two or three years since Gears 5 came out. And there hasn't been any real talk about anything Gears for a while, so I think this would be the prime opportunity for them to announce something new to hold us over until Gear 6 comes out. Um, but yeah, that would be my number one pick is Gears trilogy. We'll never pass up an opportunity to break the heart of the host of this video slash audio slash podcast, Justin, by telling him <laughs> I still have not completed Gears 5 campaign. Um, I mean, it, uh, it was good. Like, well, I like some of the stuff they tried, but I still think that Gears as a franchise is going down the wrong path as far as the style of it. Uh, I mean, it's getting a little bit too goofy for my taste. I mean, Gears Mobile. Yeah, that was like the epitome. <laughs> <laughs> the epitome of the goofiness. Um, but I just think they need to go back to that more of a Gears 1 style, more gritty, uh, more gory, and just a little bit more serious as far as the tone goes. Right, well, I guess I'm going to wrap this recording up for the uh, top three Xbox predictions. Yeah, that's fun. I, I thank you it. guys for joining us, or joining me, and uh, maybe next time we'll do it for uh, the next thing that comes out. Stay tuned. Maybe we'll have weekly things. Yeah, oh, that'd yeah. be awesome. I'd love to do that. We're going to be the next uh, come town. <laughs> <laughs> all right you guys have a great one uh thanks how are we doing